Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Idiom Brewing Company, and they are based out of Frederick, Maryland, and this is their Darkest Hour. They're calling this a Schwartz beer, coming in at 4.7%. Pretty cool can art, as always. And if you can't tell, this was brewed with marshmallows. There we go. Okay. So, this was canned on Thursday, which makes this, well, I should say it was released in the tap room to VIPs Thursday, everybody else on Friday, which again, would make this two days old. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what day is this? Uh, again, this was brewed with marshmallows. It comes in at 4.7% ABV. This is another one of their uh, reoccurring uh, beers that they bring out every year. Um, I did have this last year. I do remember liking it. Don't think I had it... Uh, as fresh as I had it now, so I'll be interested to see if the, the flavors are uh, more robust. I do like Schwarz beers and dark lagers, and so with the addition of the uh, marshmallow, it, it, it was really nice. Let's see if it still holds up this year. Whoa, yep, I could already. <laughs> Smell the marshmallow and roastiness from here. So, yeah, hold it up to the light. That pours out a very dark um, brown coloration uh, with, I'm gonna say half a finger of mocha colored head. Um, it almost looks like a dark brown root beer coloration. Show you. Yeah, I think you can kind of pick up that uh, brown color. Okay. All right. Catch my breath after that. Let's get a nose on her. Yeah, so getting like dark roasty notes along with um, some chocolate notes and sweet I'm gonna say marshmallow it comes across more as vanilla but I am actually getting marshmallow on the nose Yeah, chocolate and marshmallow, it's really good. It's very reminiscent of a s'more. With the uh, roastiness, it's just minus the graham cracker. Yeah, this smells really good. Uh, I'm diving in, cheers. I would say the flavor notes are not as prominent as uh, the nose. They were on the nose, unfortunately. Maybe as it warms up though, I'll get more. I'm gonna say lower side to medium body. Has, a, has a, some it's, yeah, it's a smooth, but yet carbonated mouthfeel. Yeah, it's leaving something on my tongue. It's, you know, like, it's probably the marshmallow, honestly. Like a slight film on the tongue. Which is also like why I'm saying I'm 
it's slightly smooth, maybe oily is what I should say, almost like an oily flavor, but yet yeah, it's, it's carbonated and crispy. So I get like roasty malts up front. Midway through is when I get that chocolate and the marshmallow. It's subtle though, it's definitely subtle. And then it has a dry finish. Four point seven percent. I mean, you can't taste the alcohol, it drinks like four point seven percent, you know. Lower side of medium body to even like higher side of thin. It has a slight bitterness that comes through um, right after I get, you know, kind of punched up front with the uh, dark roasty malt. Yeah, I'll be interested to see um, if I get more of the chocolate and marshmallow as this warms up. Um, I remember it kind of being like this last year, but I think I also had it probably two months after they uh, released it, and I had thought maybe I was starting to lose the marshmallow um, notes and the chocolate notes. It is leaving some lacing on the glass for how quick the, uh, the head actually dissipated. I am, I am starting to actually pick up on, pick up, speak run. I am starting to actually pick up on um, the marshmallow more, I think, as this is warming up. Yeah, not so much out of the can, but on the nose, you really get uh, that chocolate and marshmallow. R reminiscent of a s'more. Yeah. I like this one. I definitely do. But I would want a little more marshmallow flavor and chocolate in there. As, as pronounced as it is on the nose, it's what I want flavor-wise. All right. Uh, so Idiom Brewing Company, their darkest hour, short spear with marshmallow. I'm gonna give this a 3.8 out of five. Again, I like it. It's a solid beer. It's a solid Schwartz beer. You have the subtle notes of marshmallow and chocolate in there. Uh, for me, personally, I would want more of those uh, flavor notes there. So, that's all for this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know, had you had First, have you had anything from Idiom Brewing Company? And second, have you had Darkest Hour before? Until next time, peace.